Okay, everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I wanted to show you in completion how I widened that spine. And hang on, I got Sunny trying to come in the room. Come on, Sunny. Okay. And um, just how I finished it off, I wanted to replace the original spine on here. And I thought, so I built the wider spine, cut the book apart. Now I want to go ahead and sew the edges of this. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. All goes well. It will work magically. If it doesn't, it'll be a catastrophe disaster. But we will just see. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. I can see a little better. Okay. All right. So. Zigzag stitching. Okay, coming down the end here. And I think it's going to give us a nice finish. And make this look pretty with the extra stitching on it. And now that you don't have to um, stitch the edges, but I just thought it might be a nice look. So I thought I'd show you and give you that sense of completion that would actually completed something together and I did want to show you the whole process so I am adding this extra little part of it in here all right we'll turn that we go all the way around going slow enough so I don't break the string but it seems to be going through the cardboard and chipboard pretty easily oops a little far away from the edge there I can fix that all right, there we go. And now we're sewing, and we're sewing, and we're sewing, and we're sewing faster, and we're coming down the home stretch, and we're almost golden, and it's looking pretty good so far. We're going to crank up speed a little, feeling bold and sassy, because we're crafting with paper out on the reckless abandoned edge. Okay, here we go, coming in slow, coming in hot and slow. Okay, there we go. And across the top, and do a little back stitch at the end to lock it in. There we go. All right. Now, taking the scissors and taking off all this extra, what we call rigmarole, on the end here. And now I'm going to put your bag over here. Move my big clunker of a machine out of the way. Here we go. Okay. Sonny's running for the hills. He doesn't know what's going on. Um, okay, so the methodology on the next part, pretty simple. Let me just back it up a little bit. So I now have this, which looks kind of cool. And I think I'm going to get some Fabrifix do, 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 by Beacon. And... Ah, this is still a little bit loose, so I think what I'm going to do. Oh, it's not even adhered at all. How about that? Just fancy town useless pants in here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down with the Fabrifix, which is a clear silicone glue, good for fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper. All right, that's all nice. And then I'm going to glue. This is the glue the bejeebers maneuver. Okay. Okay, here we go. I got a little bit more. Blue bottle's still fighting me. Probably need to do another deep clean in there. Maybe I need to break down and just get another glue glue bottle tip. I don't know. These are the throws into the adventures of the crafter. Man, real live time here. This is what goes down at the paper outpost. Yeah, you think it's all sunshine and lollipops, but no, there's inherent struggle. I promise you, lots of it, lots, lots of it. All right, there we go. I got some significant amount out there. My goodness, girl, get yourself a glue bottle that works. Okay, try and go around the edges. Okay. That. Alright. 
There we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, that glue glob that came out is actually almost dry. I wonder if that was the problem. Oh, we shall see. We can always claim it is, but it might not be. You never know. All right, I'm just trimming some little threads and making sure I have right upside down, downside up, right in the middle of the spine. And replacing the spine to its location. I think that looks kind of cool on the bridge of that spine. Looking kind of nice, huh? Yeah. And it actually looks like it's sewn on there, although it's not, but it looks like it, which is kind of cool. And um, so there, now we have a journal that we can put a um, hidden spine in, which will be awesome. It's a little wider, and I think I can do four signatures in there, which will be a lot of fun. So I just wanted to finish that up with you. So this is the day of finishing up. So we have, what else are we finishing up? Okay, so there were some unfinished paper clips here that I just wanted to maybe show you some different ideas with. Um, so very easy ways to make our altered paper clips. We originally just played with uh, making a very basic master board, but then, but then we waddled into the world of, we're just going to punch things out, give them different shapes. Maybe we don't want to work with the rectangle. Life is not all about rectangles. We can have other things like Partial hearts. There we go. We have a partial heart. I do like hearts. Put the butterfly in there. All right. Did something fun. I was looking back at an older older video, and it had some fun things to do with hearts. So maybe we'll play with the heart concept today. So with these papers that we turned into a master board, or just basically altered, just to have a little bit more drama and fun with them. Um, we're going to make some fun things with. Yeah, how about that? Uh, I've got three hearts so far. See, not everything has to be an altered paper clip. No, 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 no. Oh, all right. Here we go. I got that little butterfly that I so painstakingly added the other day. Or the other, was, I think it was this morning. They all blend together when you're having reckless abandon. Mm -hmm, just don't know. Oh, okay. Here we go. In there. Become heart. Oh yes, I did punch through the uh, this, that plastic, which was kind of cool. All right, all right. So we've got four hearts now, and I think okay. We'll ink them up just a little bit with a little bit of what is the brown of the day? The brown of the day. Okay, let's use this brown. The brown of the day will be. This is a good old walnut stain, regular ink, because it's here, present, and ready to be played with. It's not giving me any squabble about anything, so we're moving forward with it. And that's how it goes sometimes. You just do with what you have in front of you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we'll do these. Now you could make paper clips out of these, but I think I'm going to... Work in this journal of uh, days gone by. This is a journal I created in 2016. Okay, no, 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 big fat lie. 2019, and uh, evidenced by, I dated it. It was my personal journal that I've never journaled. Well, no, not never. I partially journaled in. I, I'm, a, I'm removing my stuff, and I think I'm going to prepare it in a fun way, decorate it. I've already started some decorations, and, um, you know, it will be available for sale on one day. Oh, look at this. So it's just like, sometimes too, just things the way they randomly fall on a page are pretty, you know? If there's nothing wrong with that. Like, there's a million and one things you could do with these punched out master board hearts. Okay? Let me, I'm just saying. <gasps> I think I have an idea. Okay. I, I do. This is, okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them all... In the corners and they're going to be little like picture frames oh that's going to be so cute and then i can put something in the middle and i'm so excited about that idea i've never done that before that is a first here on the paper outpost after i don't know how many years she's doing that so there you go let's it's pretty easy i'm just going to use some good old fabric fix oh we've decided to flow now are we are we playing playing nice yes apparently we are no more squabbling 
uh, I must have gotten the big glue chunk out of there because it's yeah it's flowing easily now as it should be my old friend Fabrifix we are now comrades again okay I like how you're working today it should flow easily I think I just maybe had some really old glue or it got exposed to air or something I don't know what went down but it was mayhem okay there we go one more and this is just a fun little cute idea that you can do with a master board no master board is just in my mind, maybe I have the wrong de definition, but basically a page and you just slap stuff on it, okay? Scraps, paint, modeling paste, ribbon, glue, stickers, whatever you want. You put it on there and you make this big thing, big page, and then you cut it apart and you use the little pieces for different purposes. So I think that's kind of cool. And I just kind of want to give you an idea of what I can put in here. I'm just looking around. I have a uh, a cool little old handwritten letter. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, it's an airmail paper, so it feels kind of neat. Put it so it'll fit. And with the deafness of a thousand ballerinas who all have sore feet. There we go. She puts that in there like it always belonged. There you go. And you can put anything in there. Pictures or pretty pieces of paper, stationery, old letters, old pieces of newspaper, magazine pages, field guides, you name it. Pretty things can go in there. So just a fun thing. And sometimes these ideas just come out of the woodwork. So we have a few more of these. So let's see what else we can do with these. I've already done the heart. So let's move on from the heart and get something else. Oh, this is pretty. We'll see how well this works and how well this works and how well this works. Okay. So I just grabbed some um, punches. I don't know how good these work. This is a good, um, sometimes works well, sometimes doesn't. Let's see. Okay. Here's a butterfly one. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got a good butterfly. All right. Oh, and then we have a little negative of a butterfly, so that could be used for something. Put that over there in the Dunsey pile. We'll try for a dragonfly. Uh, get a wide enough one. Let's hope this goes. Oh, that's kind of pretty. A little dragonfly. And um, we also have the dragonfly negative, which is also very pretty. Okay, put you over there. Doom, doom. Okay, and then we're going to have the little bird ski. Little bird ski is that big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll put you maybe in here. They're kind of wide. Oh, there we go. A little bird ski and a little bird ski negative. All right, so let's see what we do with that. I have no idea at this point. But we're going to come up with something in microseconds. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at a picture of another page in here. We're going in the second section here. Oh, that's a nice page. Kind of, this is old grid paper, very small grid paper. And uh, let's see, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, I like that idea. Yeah, I wanna, I don't know, what do I wanna do around those edges? I think if I fold them, when I cut them at the same time, they'll be the same shape, right? Okay, might work. Maybe I can do that for the top too. There. All right, now we have that. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to take this thing. Maybe is there any ink on here? I don't know. Not much. Okay, we'll give up that and we'll work with this again. A little dubber of dubbers of the brown, and I think I'm going to emphasize the edges of this butterfly it show up a little bit better with the negative. Okay, and maybe go around the edge. Give it a little something. Okay, that shows up a little bit better on there. I'm going to put it here. Now I could, I could turn it into a pocket or a tuck. So maybe I'll just do an L shape glue, just in case I want to tuck something. I'm not sure at this moment. I'm just going to do that. And then my butterfly, oh, which uh, 
arrived out of this. I think I'm going to put it over here, but I am going to brown it up a little bit because I want it to pop against this paper. I think I'm going to overall pretty much brown it up. It's going to be a brown butterfly. So you can add layers of ink and things like that to make them, them pop a little bit more against here. And then you could put something fun in the pocket and then it would re reveal the butterfly underneath once the item is removed. And we'll try something like that. That's be a fun little thing we could do with this. And some million and one things you can do with the same thing. That's like, I guess I'm trying to show you. There we go. All right. And now I don't know why, but I'm going to do this little dotted line. As if this is the direction where the butterfly is going to go to give it some direction. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, and now I'm going to find something to put in it. Hold on. Oh, okay, I found this really cool piece of old newspaper. I think it's like a something about songs and music. I think I'm going to tuck that in here because I think that looks pretty cool. And that will also display... The um, negative of the butterfly, which I think I still have free. Yes, I do. Okay, I wasn't quite sure I fooled myself there. But uh, there we go. Now you can see the butterfly there and this butterfly there when that is removed. So that's kind of cool. And I think I'm going to darken the edges a little bit on this just to um, keep it in line with the vintage style theme. Makes it look a little bit older and worn and always gives it a little bit of a cool look. You can also come down the middle, well, that's kind of cool, and do a little bit of accenting there. And you can even come along and do some rubber stamping. And I might just do that with this little leaf. Okay, put this on here, just put some header on it. There, and um, maybe even one over here in the corner, just to give it a little bit of a unified look. Don't forget to cover your glue cap. Very important. All right, so that's one example of how you can use that. Now, we also have in our great repertoire of things the dragonfly and the dragonfly negative. So let's go maybe in the back here somewhere far away from that one. I already did it on this kind of paper, so we don't want to do that. Maybe is there darker paper in here? It's a little darker. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a pink paper. That might be pretty. Okay, so um, maybe this time um, it would be actually we're going to make this part of something. So I'm going to cover this up. Maybe I'm going to put this here. This is pretty. And that looks kind of cool. Oh, I do like that. All right, so I think I'm going to do something with the edging on this. Maybe I'm going to grab some pretty scissors, not these, some pretty scissors, these, the deckel edge. Okay, I'm actually recording upside down. I hope my phone is happy about this. We're going to find out as soon as the video is loaded and posted and we're crossing our fingers. I had to get it upside down so I could show you my sewing machine earlier. And we'll just see how it all goes. So I put some pretty edging on that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the, do I need to do the inking? No, I don't think so because the dark against this is going to show that. But I could do a little bit of light inking around the edges just for fun. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is turn this into a very wide belly band. Yes. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, here, and here. Cross here, here, and here. All right. Um, there. Okay, put all this down. Lots of gluey glue glue on here. All right, there we go. And then we have this one. You could be coming off the edge. That would look kind of cute. I would like that. 
Um, but I do need to make you darker so you show up. So it's kind of the same idea, but this time I'm turning this little thing into part of a belly band. So let me just ink this up a little bit more. So it's going to be very careful not to disengage tail from said butterfly dragonfly proper. And um, do, 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 lightly, lightly, do not tear it. Do not tear the tail, Pam. Do not tear the tail. Do not tear the tail. Okay, let me try. There, that shows up nicely now. Okay. And then we're going to get the glue. And we're going to be very careful. Nope, we're not going to use that one. We're going to lay the glue down. No pulling. No pulling on this delicate paper. Sometimes it's easier if you apply it with the Fabrifix liquid glue or any liquid glue. You're not going to pull on the little delicate thingies. Ah, okay. So now we can put something in there. Hold on. I strangely have a collection of long, thin thingies. Okay. Yes, cat. Um, this, this is kind of cool. Oh, here's some drawings I did. Oh, very nice. Oh, interesting. Warm. Oh, I have no idea what these are, but apparently I did them. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Warm is cool. Okay, so maybe we're going to ink up your edges a little bit. A bookmark sort of thing. Just a cool little card. You could write on the back of it if you wanted. Use it as a bookmark. Make Turn it into a belly band if you wanted. Um, maybe we're going to give a little established stamp on this side just to give it a proper top. Hmm. Oh, I did have that gilding on there. It's not, not liking it. Okay, let's see. Got, yeah. Oh, not bad. We're good. We have the official top. I'm going to ink around here. It's going to look a little pretty. And then we're going to put some lines on it, make an official journaling card. Um, oh, there we have alert. Family is moving about. Okay. Yeah. And this is a purple pen, purple gel pen. Very cool. Sometimes I like to stagger these hand-drawn lines. And they're kind of fun like that. They don't have to be perfect, but they just have to be kind of cool. You can draw them all out perfectly with rulers in that if you like. Or not. There we go. And then this can slip right in there. So it's just kind of a fun thing for you to find. All righty, there we go. Yeah, very fun. All right, so there we have two. And do we? I think we had a bird, right? Yeah, okay, I found the bird. And uh, hold on one second. Okay, so I'm back. And okay, yes, I always forget to say this. There is a fifty percent off all Digikit special going on right now in my Paper Outpost Etsy shop. Here is the link if you're looking for it. And the, it's also in the description box down below if you have access to that. And here's a link to all my links. If you want to see all my links to my uh, free monthly emailed newsletter, uh, my Etsy shop, Amazon shop, um, my t-shirt shop, and also all my social media links. And uh, but let's figure out what fun things we can do with this last little birdie. And I think I like the idea of the... Um, it's going to show up three times. Yes, these, these cutout links. Links. They're not these are not links, Pam. These are cutouts. You know, it's not easy in the paper world. Sometimes the words get jumbled, but we carry on. And um, because we have family here, and we have the dog, and then we have videoing and crafting, and coming up with new ideas, and sometimes we run amok. So we're running a little amok, but we're, we're back in the kitchen. Okay, I know we're not in the kitchen. Um, all right, here's a nice middle page. Oh, let's see. Now, we definitely want to do some, I would say, some inking around this edge. So that shows up. I think you can actually do this, like a roundabout there. And that will show the bird up a little bit more, which is kind of cool. And then it could be used as a little upper tuck there. Oh, that would look really cool. And then maybe this bird is coming flying out of the upper tuck. How about that? Wow, that's, that's just fascinating. But I think we could do that. Let's try it. We'll do a nimble and ginger 
U-shaped glue. And we'll tuck something in there that will maybe show the shape of that bird. If we're lucky, we're going to see. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a dark paper. And I might need to go. Oh, well, I've already used a newspaper, so I don't want to use that again. I want to use something different. What's this? Oh, that's something different. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. There's a handwritten letter in purple paper. Well, let's just see what all this is. Sometimes I come across these very old handwritten letters. This one is in a different language. It's in purple. It might show up there, but if it's not dark enough, we may default to something else. This is a darker purple. All right. We go narrow. We have to go narrow. Oh, get you glued down. And then let's see if you fit. No, oh, it does fit. That looks kind of cool. I do like that. So I think, oh, maybe, maybe I can glue this onto the bottom so they know they can pull that out. Let's try that. Um, a little bit of glue on there. There. So now it's um, kind of a match set that this can be removed because it has the birdie on it. I don't know. Would anybody else think that? Maybe not, but just me. I think I need a little bit more glue in that corner. Boom. All right, I'm going to let that dry and put that there until that dries and then I'll pop it in. And at this moment in time, we are now looking for the world famous, where are you? <laughs> where did you go? You were right here. You just, oh, you're hiding outside the craft room door. Come here, honey. It's time for your pup day. You want to do your pup day? You do? Well, come here then. Yeah. Everybody's waiting. Now we have to be um, concise and to the point, okay? Because they have busy lives and they got to go do stuff. Hello, Sunshine here. I'm very, I'm, I'm Cub Pup Reporter, very concise and to the point today. I just want you to know, I wish you all a very happy and crafty day. And I hope that you're having lots of fun, way more than is allowed, certainly more than is legal. And, um, you know, be a little paper rule breaker today and go have some fun. Um, happy crafting, Sunshine out. Oh, that was very happy. I was happy and happy as a clam happy. I think this can now be inserted safely. And we are good. So everybody, you have an awesome day. I hope you had fun here. We always enjoy spending time with you. So happy crafting. Remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time.